Beyond 100 Times Over. I'm Colin Moriarty, editor of IGN PlayStation. I'm here with David Reed of CCP, and we're here to talk a bit about Dust514. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Colin. So let's just get right into it, because we have this video playing here. What are we looking at? What's Dust514? Tell me what's going on here. Sure. Let's just start with where you are now. You're in your mercenary quarters here at the beginning. And this is a place where, in between matches, you're going to be able to customize and tailor your drop suits, your fittings, how you want to go out into the battle. In Dust514, unlike other shooters, we have this massive amount of persistence and customization available to you. So what you're going to be doing is picking things that you want to specialize in. Right now you're looking at your skill tree. There are dozens of skills. This could take you a lifetime to master all of them. And much like in real life, we don't expect you to. We expect you to pick something, to specialize in it, and to contribute faster to your group. Now, what you're looking at right here is a drop suit fitting. And this is, in fact, another part of the customization piece here. Over here on the left, you're looking at all these items that you've got access to and how to plug different modules into your drop suit, the suit of armor that you're wearing into combat. Drop suits and their configurations, they have different amounts of power, different amounts of CPU required, and you need to fit those things in particular. So when something comes up and says it's an invalid fitting, you're trying to juice it too hard beyond either what the capabilities of the equipment are or what your own skills will allow you to do. Part of what happens in Dust is if you pick up a suit of armor or try to drive a vehicle that you're not really trained well to do, it's going to end badly for you. So just like in real life, don't drive a tank if you haven't been trained on that tank yet. So we do have some of that in dust as well. And part of what we're seeing in the beta right now is we're watching people go through these processes and, and we, we are hearing feedback about how to make this a little clearer for people and, and to tighten that up. And so that is very much our focus in the coming weeks here is working deeply in the UX and the UI for the gamer so they can quickly make some decisions here. But what you'll see here is you actually are literally right now in this case customizing your own tank. And when you're out there on the battlefields in Dust514 and you call in for a tank, you are calling your tank. This is a tank that you've put the time into building. It's a tank that you've put different customizations together for the way you want to fight on the battlefield. If that tank blows up, you're losing one of your tanks. This isn't some candy land where tanks just spawn magically just because you happen to be on the battlefield. These things all are items that you've put into. Okay, fair enough. So now we're out of the customization option. Is this, you know, I've been playing the beta in this, uh, obviously you're in this area, in this third person mode almost, but when you get thrust into battle, and now we are thrust into battle on, on a oh, planet yeah. surface. So what are we seeing here? I mean, it looks kind of like a typical shooter, but it's certainly not. Exactly. Explain the finer point. Yeah, I mean, what you're seeing here is is moment to moment gameplay that is very familiar to you if you are a first person shooter player of a Call of Duty or a Battlefield, something with that, you know, large, massive multiplayer uh, thing that happens after your single player campaign. We, we jokingly refer to that at CCP as the interactive video practice mode of most of these first person shooters because at the end of the day most people play through the campaign in a way to learn how to play in multiplayer and that's where they spend the bulk of their time. Now, unlike other first-person shooters, you know, and, and I think what you see here when you look at this is, you know, with the emphasis on vehicle combat and things like that, Dust 